Hello and today we're playing Thor, the mighty thunder god himself and on our team we have one of the best divine knockout players in the game, Yellick. He's playing his favorited character, Loki. Now if you would like to check out his Twitch streams, I will leave that in the comment section down below so you can see what real skilled gameplay is like. Now with that being said, on the enemy team we have a Loki and an Amaterasu. We also have an arms dilly, an arms member that is playing that level 20 Loki. So. I'm actually focusing a little bit. This is my first game of the day. I finally got time to play again, so I'm super happy about that. And as you can see, we're doing really good in damaging these enemies, and we're kind of countering them perfectly right now. Gonna hit him up here so he doesn't continue his little light attack on Yellick. See if I could get a stun. No, it wasn't in the right range, but that's okay. They're very high vulnerability where we can knock them out, and Yellick is literally doing everything. I catch them in my Berserker's Barrage. Sadly, I get hit by the Environmental Hazard. As you can see there, we eliminate them about almost near side simultaneously giving us that first round victory now what's going to be interesting with this matchup to see is that it is a level 20 amaterasu as well so you still gotta watch it for the spikes we don't know what's going to happen i do get the dagger but i dodge through yellow comes in from behind the counter perfectly for me and i dodge the acrobatic strikes from the enemy loki right there me and yellow are still pretty low which is pretty nice right now we're cornering them and this is getting so much pressure that they're kind of struggling to figure out what to do this is something that you do see a lot in twos especially when there's a a team that's so confident in what they're doing honestly right now i'm just having fun i have no idea how i'm playing so well right now do i get the stun barely but the amateur oh dodging out there for the enemy loki just barely missing it right there now yellick is going in for the elimination as you can see there. going on my zirka's barrage he dodges out of the last rotation but we both catch him out in some attacks i get hit in the heavenly strike and yellick goes in for the heavy and they're both trying to get back on the platform now i do have my ultimate up soon just in case i'm expecting that loki oh perfect stun oh no i didn't get the stun off but i do get the heavy attack on both of them allowing them both to go there are they going to get ejected out one does the enemy loki giving me that nice score now i don't want to get hit with the amateur Ross's ultimate, so I'm just gonna spit it out here. Sadly, my ultimate didn't land. Nyelik shows off his nice little Loki emote right there, coming in with the Berserker's Barrage. Does that hit her out, giving us the second round victory? Now, remember this, guys. Even though we're up two points, do not underestimate your enemies. You never know what could happen. They could turn this around at any moment, or I could start to make a lot of mistakes and cost our team some points. So, as you can see there, I dodge back. I probably shouldn't. Then I took to the sky, and the environmental hazard got me. Berserker's Barrage. I'm missing my timings that I was hitting the first two rounds. And this is exactly as I'm saying. Just because I played good for two rounds or you know just because we won those doesn't mean anything these guys can turn it around at any moment so let's see can I land down here I was expecting her to come down there's probably no reason in hindsight for me to even bother hitting my mobility and I gladly hit that enemy Loki there with my hammer did not get hit by the heavenly strike coming on my berserkers barrage they both avoided really nice play by those two right there and I do switch my light attacks at the perfect moment to clash with the Loki to avoid getting damage oh that's a very nice Sunseeker dash by the enemy right there Coming back on, I love the emotes coming in from everyone. Ooh, whoa, what's gonna happen there? Yeah, like I thought he was gonna fall off. My hammer's there, ejecting it out, and that should get the enemy Amaterasu. Now we just have to deal with this enemy Loki right here. So, I don't know, is Yellick gonna go in? Am I gonna go in? What's gonna happen? I'm just gonna hit him out here with the heavy attack. And as you can see, we get the total victory right there. That was a really nice first game for the day. And in this second matchup here, we're going up against an Amaterasu and a Loki. And Yellick is playing his nice Loki. Now, I like the fact that he's not using the level 20 Loki skin. Only because I personally prefer that skin he's using right now. I use that all the time. Ever since I got it, that's been the skin I had default on Loki. Alright, so as you can see there, we did some nice damage to both of them right now. We're still very low vulnerability. Loki going for that nice air light, air heavy attack. Coming in with the Berserker's Barrage. Do we hit out the Hercules a bit? Yes. Now, the Amaterasu may get eliminated soon. Simply, oh, he counters me before I can get my air heavy. And that's okay, because my air heavy was a little slightly off right there. I'm going to come in here, see if I can get the stun off. No, he uses Pounce, which allows him to avoid it. I do hit him off there, and there goes the Amaterasu. Somehow Thor survives that knockback, and Yellick is getting the next point off there, giving us the first round victory right here. I love that he pops his emote every so often. That's what I like. I personally just love to spam emotes. Now, if they didn't have a timer for emotes, it would have been so much better. But then again, I, I, I would be spamming it constantly through the game. I like that the Amaterasu does what I do. If you notice, every time I play on this map, I always try to get on that pillar before the match starts. The Amaterasu did it, so I'm going to give the Amaterasu some swag points right there. Hercules is over 100% vulnerability, and Amaterasu catches me off with that hold heavy attack. I'm going to chuck my hammer there, and that should be the Hercules' life. Now we just have to deal with the Amaterasu. The health orb's coming up, but you know what? We may be able to eliminate her out a little earlier than normal. I dodged straight through into the Berserker's Barrage, and that gives us the second point 
giant victory there for the round. Now, this is going pretty fast. I wonder, really do, I wonder, what is the fastest time anybody has ever won a game? And I guess the Hercules quit out there. It happens. I feel sorry for the Amaterasu because even though you're losing, you shouldn't give up. I mean, it happens to me multiple times where I am way back in the points. Even if I know I'm getting a 0-3 point on me, I still try my best to turn the game around. And there have been many games like that, especially in duos. All right. So I'm going to leave these two to 1v1 because I feel it's unfair for the Amaterasu. She's going in with her uppercut, misses, and gets hit with the air light air heavy by Yellick, which is also dropping poisons on her right now. She goes in for the heavenly strike and misses, gets some light attack damage on her, and he's continuing the rotation. I need to jump off there so I don't sink. Emotes coming in all around. I guess Amaterasu gave up, and that's totally okay at that point. Now we're going to go into the next round. And just to clarify, at the end there, the Amaterasu did really try, so you got to give her a round of applause for that. It was the Hercules player who quit, which I didn't really agree with. Now in this, we have a beautiful player we're going up against here that's playing Amaterasu named Egg. Now, I don't know this player, I just really like that name, and it's a level 20 Amaterasu skin. As you can clearly see, Ymir. Ymir is a force to be reckoned with. I've been making a lot of Ymir videos. That was a beautiful double stun right there. Coming in with the hold heavy, dodging back to avoid, but due to Ymir's range, I still get hit with the light attack, so I throw out my hammer right there. And Yellick is always going off on them. They're both very high vulnerability, but the Ymir is in knockout range right now. And as you can see there, there goes the Ymir as Yellick eliminates so into another Air Fury attacks. Is he going to use acrobatic strikes? Yes, he does, giving us the first round victory with a nice simultaneous elimination on the Loki's part. Now, we already won the first round. Can we get a turnaround or are we going to be able to get this a 3-0? We're going to find out because let me tell you, when it's a Ymir player, I'll be honest with you, you never know what could happen. If he gets the right freezes off, that is it right there. GG coming in with the nice Berserker's Rod, but they counter at the perfect timing. I'm messing up my abilities a little bit, but that's okay. It happens. It's all fun. It's nothing too serious right now. Now, as you can see, the Ymir does pop his Ice Bread, and it's avoided clearly. He's at 86%. I did not get the hammer off on him, which sucks. At the same time, I do knock him out with Berserker's Barrage. He's at 108%. He hits me with the Icicle. I was hoping I would have gotten him out there. Can't get the stun as he simply avoids it by walking out. They're both in red range. Either one could be knocked out. I was trying to hit the Heavy, but as you can see, he goes in with the uppercut next berserker's barrage and that should be the knockout there on the ymir give me a one point knockout victory right there and the ultimate from the loki eliminates the amaterasu i actually was trying my best to eliminate him out there i don't know what happened i, I thought my hammer hit him but it's okay all right, so we're here in round three. What's going to happen? We're going to find out. The Daze comes in from the Loki, and we're looking to get that double stun off again, but it doesn't work. However, I do hit Mjolnir, peeling for my ally right there. And as you can see, Ymir is being tossed around. Amaterasu misses the uppercut. I get hit with the air heavy attack by the Ymir, and I can see Yellick there at the corner. Hopefully, oh no, no, no. I, I think that's it for Yellick. Yellick's probably dead. I don't think he can make it back on the platform, and now it's a chance for me to 1v1. I'm pretty sure I might be able to do this. I'm feeling pretty good with Thor right now. Coming in with the Berserker's Broad, hitting him back to deal damage. My hammer isn't up. I should probably use my mobility. Get the stun off. Nice side attacks right there. But the hold heavy from the Amaterasu. Thankfully, I didn't get knocked out, but I got frozen right there, and I barely survived. Now, I need to make sure I make it back on the platform. I'm going to chuck my hammer. You could clearly see the wall did not go where that Ymir wanted. I dodged out at the perfect timing, hitting the Amaterasu, keeping my back towards that platform so I don't get knocked out. I do have my ultimate popping it right here, and it does hit both of them. Neither of them get eliminated which is kind of crazy right oh no 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 it's lagging out it's lagging out all right we're going to hit the berserkers barrage there we're hitting off the ymir and the hold heavy from the amaterasu really great job on their part there turning it around honestly i think if it didn't lag out there i may have been able to get the amaterasu as well because i wasn't paying too close attention to what she was doing after that lag hit all right so we're gonna try our best here to turn around this round to give us the victory we need we get some nice stun and light attacks off on the ymir with the Berserker's Barrage hitting him out, and the Amaterasu comes from behind. Very smart right there. The Amaterasu with the spikes is always something you need to worry about. Same with King Arthur, as King Arthur has one thing that's even more deadly, his stuns. I'm being edge guarded very hard right now. I'm going to have to chuck my hammer here because I see the Ymir coming, and it does hit him back perfectly. So I'm going to wait up here for the little speed boost, and Yellick gets the elimination right there on the beautiful Amaterasu. Now we just see the edge guard him. Can't oh, no, no, no. Oh man, I was gonna. I thought it would have been so cool to go in for the air light air heavy, but I get spiked by your mirror. That was actually really cool to watch. And as you can see, Yala gets the elimination, giving us that round victory. Now we're gonna go into the next round right here. And actually, you know what? This is gonna be very interesting. We're also facing off against ACXYN again. That's the person we faced off in the first one that was playing Amaterasu. And this time he's actually playing Loki, a level 20 Loki at that. And the enemy Athena is gonna be a level 20 with the name of the Fox King. So. 
I wonder how this is going to go. We're already seeing they're going on Yellick. I'm trying my best not to mess up any of my moves, but I feel like I'm not as fluid as I was the first round of the day, but it's okay. Coming in with Berserker's Barrage, I do get some damage off. Gonna chuck my hammer here. Does it hit the Athena perfectly there at 102%? Coming in with some nice side attacks to do some damage. Dodging back to avoid the Athena. Yellick comes in with the nice acrobatic strikes. I, oh no, okay. I, I was kind of misjudging. I didn't expect the Athena to come straight down on me. I should not have actually used my mobility there. Thinking about it, the Athena dodges straight out chucking my hammer out and it does discharge hitting her back and the ultimate for our loki comes up but nobody's in range to be hit by it thankfully that that environmental hazard hit me in time oh no 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 i'm gonna get hit there Ooh, i barely survive however i can buy time just enough gonna pop my mobility avoiding the enemy loki's perfect double stun right there popping my ultimate i missed the range i should have just used the heavy attack this is me i could get knocked out at any second right there chucking me there and it doesn't work i'm gonna get eliminated i don't i don't know okay somehow i counted it right there dodging no 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 i really don't know how i survived there the funny thing about it is i won't make it back on the platform as you can see and you know what if i had actually not messed up that ultimate i probably would have been able to turn around that game a lot earlier either way we got two enemy lokis in a mirror match right here and yellick's at 81 percent from collecting the health orb and they're going back to port who's going to make the first move yellick goes invisible makes the first move now you can see the enemy level 20 loki going in with that nice tick damage for the poison he's invisible what's going to happen he dodges through with the perfect timing wi-fi comes in with air light air heavy eliminating acy and now we're going on to the next round that was actually really intense hopefully i don't make the same mistakes i did that time but i'm really having fun this matchup right here all right so as you can see yellick is invisible i do get the stun off which allows me to do some nice side attack damage and the dagger comes off on the enemy loki who's at 85 percent already missing okay i'm gonna go into berserker's barrage but he counters it and i get hit into the environmental hazard right there light attack light attack and it oh that was a really nice dodge from the enemy loki the wi-fi is actually improving a lot but one of the things i've noticed is that the servers are so much stronger i do enemy eliminate sorry the enemy loki i'm gonna chuck my hammer right there and as you can see nothing really happens all right so we're gonna leave yellick or am i gonna attack the Athena? i don't know what's happening i'm just gonna walk around see if yellick goes in and i'll just throw my hammer or something all right oh whoa okay i i messed up right there big time and i actually used my mobility wrong that's okay I guess Yalik is allowing me to 1v1. I kind of messed this up already in terms of vulnerability, but it's okay. Coming in there, and I get hit out with the parry, dodging straight through, and the ultimate is up. Gonna pop it right here. It does hit the Athena, but in the wrong direction, I'll be honest with you. I think I already messed this up, and there I go eliminated. There's nothing I could do. Uh, good job, the Fox King. I should have taken it a little more seriously, but then that's not as fun, guys. All right. So Yelik's here at 33%, and as you can see, the enemy Athena's at 151%. He tried to get acrobatic strikes, and the air light comes in from the enemy. Yelik does actually use his ultimate, which is a quite an interesting move. And uh, Athena is such a sturdy character. Being knocked around and surviving, Yelik does the double dodge right there, making Athena figure out what's actually happening. He does the emote. Okay, and he comes in with the light attacks, air light, air heavy, and does the elimination right there. You know, I would love to see Genki or Angelic face off against yeah like i would love to see how that would go personally all right so we're here in the sky and we're in round three are we going to be able to pull off the victory we're going to find out in a little bit going to pop berserker's barrage right here it was a little too early i honestly thought the loki was going to come in closer i'm in a very dangerous situation yeah like comes and peels for me which is actually nice i appreciate it dude now we're coming in with some nice side attacks i get hit by athena and i'm missing so now i have to kind of get back on track because my vulnerability is getting high when it shouldn't be right now berserker's barrage hitting oh we do bait the dodge from the enemy loki and as you can see the athena's at 70 52 percent now after collecting the health orb and her parry is down dodging through and the light attacks that we're not able to hit off on the enemy loki's versus loki is happening in the background Why me and athena are trying our best to land some damage on each other i was going to go up in the sky with my mobility but it didn't work i do get some nice damage on them picking through the sky with my mobility i do not get a stun off but that's totally fine two of the enemies are over 100 vulnerability and we're coming in here with the berserkers broads do not get the final off and we do however get hit by the loki's ultimate two of the enemies again over 100 percent vulnerability oh no okay I i'm alive because i'm also in a very dangerous range to be knocked out somehow i did not get knocked out but i'm ticking away with poison right here gonna use my mobility to get back in and probably try to pop my ultimate here oh no okay yeah let get the point off for that and he i think he's gonna get the elimination here on the enemy loki ending the night off with a nice gg